Right. Now we're just going to do a, a, a basic pop-up. We're going to create one just to show you the functionality in the background and how to do it. We'll get to more detailed creative pop-ups later on in some future videos. But right now we just want to add a new pop-up. So we can start by adding one in two ways using the add new link in the sidebar or we can add uh, new by clicking the button here. Now the first thing we got to do is we got to name our pop-up and the easiest thing to do to keep everything in order is to be descriptive as possible about your pop-up. What I like to do is if I'm doing a pop-up specific to a page I will name the page. Also what type of pop-up so in this one we're going to do an exit intent pop-up and and that's basically just so we can we can edit in the future knowing which one we're going to edit. So I'm just going to add in here Simple as that. Now you can name it whatever you want, whatever works for you. And then I'm just going to click Save Draft. You can click Save Publish or Publish it, but it really doesn't matter because we're just uh, building it to begin with. And then we're going to um, start building it. Now, Beaver Pop-Up works the exact same way as, as you would create any row or module or, or page in Beaver Builder. So we're going to get the standard, you know, do you want to put a template in? pop up in the beginning. So we're going to click blank and we're going to get the standard blank canvas that we need to add in a column. So I'm just going to add in a, a single column. Now if you're being creative and doing all sorts of fancy things you can put as many columns as you want and basically the content of the row is your pop up. So or the page sorry is your pop up. So I've just added a single column. I'm going to add a heading and this is a subscription so I'm going to say um, join my list and like any other heading I'm going to style it and I leave it the standard text I'm going to center it tell you what let's use monster out font and let's make it semi bold and then I'm going to leave everything else standard so as you can see I've just literally got a heading here now. Well, I'm going to add more content. I'm going to add a subscription module. Now it's in the advanced modules. You'll find your subscribe form, but I have already created, let's get rid of this so we can see, a module and saved it, which is a subscribe module. So if you've got an autoresponder, that's where you, you create, use your subscribe module to create the opt-in form. And I've already just pre-done it, so make things easier. So I'm just going to add it here. Um, I use ConvertKit, but I'm going to hide my details so you don't see them. So now I've got a row with one column, um, a heading, and my subscribe module. Now, at the moment, this is transparent in the background. Now I'm going to use the pop-up on the home page so I want to have an overlay in the background so my pop-up becomes prominent but inside my pop-up the content of my pop-up I want the background to be white so I have to go into the row settings and I'm gonna look for background type color and I'm gonna make it white and I'm gonna save now with my row settings I could actually create a border, I could add padding, I could have no padding, I could add an image only. So if I've got an e-commerce site and I've got a banner ad or something like that, I can just add the image. Then I could take the padding away and the margins away so it is just literally the box. But for demonstration purposes, we're going to leave this as just a white background. We've got our nice padding, we've got our heading, and we've got our subscribe module. So I'm happy that this is the pop-up I want to appear. Now, the second part is we have to add in the extra bits like the close uh, icon button, the color overlay, etc. So to do that up here, you'll notice we have pop up options. So these options are specific to this pop up in Beaver pop ups. So when I click that, I'll get another pop up uh, option. So we can tell Beaver pop ups what type of pop up this is, either a modal which is just a standard pop-up in the middle of the screen, or a fly-out. A fly-out slides in from either the side, the bottom, the top, etc. But it's still the same creation process. We actually create uh, a standard Beaver Builder 
template and then we tell Beaver pop-up settings what to do with it. So I'm going to stick with Modal. Now the overlay is basically when my pop-up appears, I want to create a colored background that is slightly opaque. So you can still see my web page in the background, but my pop-up is actually very prominent. It's fairly standard stuff for pop-ups. So I'm going to use black. Now I don't want it to be completely black, so this slider on the right hand side gives me the opacity basically. So I'm going to go for about 70%. So if we get to 0 0.7 here, that's 70% opacity. So it won't appear black, it'll actually appear grey. But we'll be able to see the web page in the background once I attach it. Next, the icon size. So if you look up here on the right hand corner, there's my X for my closing of the pop-up. And at the moment it's black. So I'm going to make this white. And at the moment, it's relative to the overlay. That means it'll appear in the very top right hand corner of the overlay. And then I can tell Beaver pop ups that I want it to appear not in the very top right hand corner. But actually with this one, I want it actually to be relative to the pop up. So I'm going to say I want it to be 20 pixels from the top of the pop-up and 20 pixels to the right of the pop-up. But I also wanted to stick out, so I'm going to use red or something like that. Yeah, there we go. Um, and lastly, or <laughs> near the last, the actual width of the box. So I might have an image that is horizontal, so I want to make it you know, wider. Um, and the standard width is about 600 and that works really well. Now if I wanted to be specific about the width and the height, I can put the height in here. By leaving that blank, it'll be relative to the width and relative to the content of the actual row. So I could actually add in a border radius of 6, something like that, to give the corners a nice round feel to them. I can add a box shadow and then I can add in all my bits and pieces here. But uh, you need to play around and see what you like. I'm going to say no just for now. And then I can decide how the pop-up will pop up. So I can have zoom in, zoom out, all these. So play around with them. I'm going to say zoom in. And then when I click the close button, I can decide what to do with it as well. So I'm going to say pulse. So there's my settings for the, the actual action of the pop-up. So I'm going to click save. Now that is specific to this particular pop-up. So every time I create a new pop-up, I want to change those pop-up settings. Now, once it's rendered, you can see that I've got my X inside my pop-up. And I've got my heading, I've got my opt-in section, and I've got my row that has nice round corners, and I've got not a black background overlay, but actually, you know, 70% black. Now, let's say I wanted to change that button. I'd go uh, the, the close icon. I go back to my pop-up settings and I'll say this time I want it to be minus 30 picks and then do the same with this one minus 30 picks and I want it to be white because it's going to stick out then on that gray background and click save so now it's appearing outside of my box so you can play around with how you like it so that's basically how we create our basic pop-up settings.